Hello and welcome to Pixapia. Today is very interesting to me for two reasons. The first one, I haven't filmed for two months. And if you want to know more about why, I will explain all that at the end of today's video. But secondly, and maybe more important, one of my favorite applications when it comes to creating imagery using AI is now open everybody on the web, midjourney.com, a way that makes it so much easier to use Midjourney than it used to be on Discord. And I am so happy to be able to start a new series on basic tutorials using Midjourney on the web for all of you. In today's video, I will just show you how you can set up your account on Midjourney. We will talk a little bit about how the interface looks when you are on the web. And we will maybe create one or two very basic images. But see this as an introduction to my new series of tutorials and my return to YouTube. So with all that said, let's move over to my computer and take a look at how you can sign up to midjourney.com. So here we are at midjourney.com and today we are going to go directly to login. We can log in or sign up either with a Discord account if we have one or with Google. And today we're going to choose one of my Google accounts and choose my account and click continue. This is how it looks when you come in to Midjourney. As you can see here, I have approximately 10 free images. I don't know why it's down to 10. When I did it the first time with another account, I had 25 images. So that is something very temporarily, you get a couple of images that you can try this out. And if you hover over here, you see certain features use more or less. So it's not definitely 10 images as we can see. This is where you write your prompt and you can do some basic settings here, your image size. And you can do that either by choosing portrait, square or landscape. But let's stick with square. All of this I will go in more detail when I start the new series with my tutorials. You can choose standard or raw. You can choose your version of Midjourney and personalization, which I will talk more about later. Stylization. Midjourney have a certain aesthetics and you can choose how much or how little that will affect your images. Weirdness. Introduce quirky qualities to your generated image. And then we have variety. When you write one prompt, you get four images for each prompt you write. Variety between them depends on this number. And finally, we have speed, relaxed, fast, or turbo. If you choose turbo, it's going to use more of your credits. Before we create an image, let's look at what else we have on the left hand side here? Create. It's where you go in and you can write your prompt and the rest is the same. Organize is when you have started to create your images. You can create different folders. Chat is where midjourney.com connect to the Discord server. And you can go in and follow certain groups there and see what they are talking about. We have the subscribe yearly or monthly billing. I have on my paid account the basic plan with $10 a month. And then we have a down here where you can find all the most common questions. We have a help section 
we have an update where you can see what the latest updates are. You can choose dark mode, light mode, light or the system mode. And you can go into your account and manage your profile, subscription, your uploads, which I will come back to in my series. You can connect to Discord and you can log up. Let's go back to Explore here. As I said, at the top, you have your prompt where you can write something. You can write just one or two words. So let's write cute kitten and see what we create. So I wrote cute kitten and hit enter. And if you go in on the creator, you can see it's creating 30% is done. Okay, those are cute kittens, but maybe we should do it again. Cute kitten kawaii style. Let's add that and see what happens. We have to go back to create and now you see it's working on four more images. So now you see it's a totally different style. So there you have it. My favorite AI tools to create images is now open on the web for everybody and you can for a short time try it for free. This is my introduction to my new series where I will do tutorials about how to use Midjourney on the website. I hope this will be an interesting learning experience both for me and you. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure you keep your eyes open for my new series. And for those of you that are curious about why I've been gone, I will now explain that to you. For the rest of you, I say good night, goodbye, and I hope to see you back here soon. So where have I been? Well, it started on the 3rd of July. I had a stum little stomach pain, but didn't think too much about it. 4th of July came and my stomach pain was much worse, but it was 4th of July. The rest of my family had plans to go to a 4th of July party and watch the fireworks and do the barbecue thing. So I decided that, okay, I will just stay home, lay in bed and hope that my stomach ache gets better. The 5th of July, I could hardly get out of bed. So I had my brother-in-law drive me to the hospital. And of course, it was my appendix. And when I finally got there, it had burst and I had inflammation all in my stomach and they had to do surgery and they cleaned it up. They had to take part of my colon and then the recovery started. I spent about a week in the hospital and I must say you don't heal as quickly when you come up to my age as you did when you were younger. So one week in the hospital and then I have been hooked up to what they call a wound whack for six weeks at home. This week, I finally got the wound whack off. I still have an open wound on my stomach and I still need to dress that every day, but I feel so much better. So that's what has been going on with me. I I think I am ready to get back into filming and doing my research. But if I am a little irregular, pun intended, for a while here, you know why. And if you watched all the way to the end to hear about my misery, you are a true friend of the channel. And I hope to see you back soon. With that said, bye.